Okay, so here's a good question from Vincent. Um, Vincent says, I'd love to know how to approach split-level renovations. It's hard to discern where to put walls and on what levels. Sometimes the floors will um, you know, end up at odd heights. So I, I get it. That's um, Having these different levels, like a, a split level, it, it can be difficult to decide what plan are you showing. So in my experience, um, let me show you a project I've been working on. This is a real design project uh, here in Denver that, that we've had on the boards for a while here. Um, this is Milwaukee. And here's our proposed conditions model. Okay, so oh, let me see. This is not going to work in 2014, so let me open in 16. So w the way that I look at it is, is that for a split level, like let me just um, turn on my section cuts here, and let's just add a, you know, just take a look inside of this house. Okay, so here you can see it's not totally a split level, but it's pretty close. I mean, you go upstairs, and then there's this level, and then you go up a few more stairs, and you arrive at this master bedroom level. But what I think is important to do um, is, is to identify, I, I think that two of those split levels can be one plan. I think that's an easier way to represent this so that you don't have like uh, level one, level two, and level three. Now you certainly could do it that way. Um, so that, that would be one option is to then kind of gray out the other side of the plan um, and just kind of highlight you know, each level as you go up. Decide if you're gonna show you know, two levels in one plan or if you're gonna show each level on its own plan. So for this project, I just decided, since it's not that many steps, let's just put one cut through here. You can see that I'm, I would be able to chop all of my window openings in one shot. Um, so that made it really easy for this one just to call this a two-level um, two plan. So let me um, turn on my, my section planes again, and let me turn off all of these vertical ones or hide those. And then I just want to show you, here's like level two looking down. So this is what level two looks like. You can see that it's cutting through um, all of my openings here, and it's cutting through my openings here. Uh, it looks like actually I missed a little bit. And you know it's really not a big deal if you do miss one of your window openings, because what you can do is, well, number one, the 2D graphic is going to kind of overwrite your hatch anyway. But if I just scoot this up a bit, I can get to that. So that would be a better place to, to position that section plane. So I'm catching all of my openings. Now, the other thing that you can do is if I were to go in here, let's say like, um, let's say that I, I add this section plane, you know, this active section plane, uh, so this one, let's say that it was like way up high, you know, like let me just scoot this one up here like this. All right, so let's say like I, I catch this one, but now this window is not being caught in my section plane. So one thing you can do is go into, into this group of walls over here. And like you, you could take this little section of wall here, um, take, and this is kind of a, again, on the fly. It's always fun to try these things on the fly. Um, Let's see, I'm gonna turn off the section plane. So I would just take this chunk of wall right here and make it a group. So like, you know, I could uh, copy this and then push it and then delete all this stuff and then do a paste in place. And so that's gonna be a group. And now I'm going to thicken this wall up like that. Okay, so there's my group. And if the way that SketchUp works is you can bury different section cuts uh, or, or an active section plane is, is like blocked by a container such as a group or a component. So I've got you know, this active section cut that's, that's chopping through the top of that group, but I could go into this one specific group and add another section cut. So now I can say like, all right, so I want that one to cut there. And then on the scene, see now I've got like, you know, so essentially what you could do is kind of split split your levels 
And then on your one plan, like this different scene over here, like, um, you know, for instance, uh, construction plan, O2, really all of these guys, construction plan, O2, and let me do a save as real quick. I want to throw this on my desktop. Um, this is a, actually a, a real project file I'm working with. Um, so construction plan, O2, heavy, hatch A, and hatch B, I'm going to update those. And the only property I want to update is going to be my active section planes. So that should hook me up for, um, if I go to my scenes, um, heavy, and see now you've got, let's see, let me get my bearings here. See, on this scene, we've got our, our, our section cut drops. So the way that I would do that is I would then, if, if you have like a split level where it's like a true 50% split level, Maybe that would be the best way to do it is to break them up into groups, but still keep them on one plan. So you kind of have level one and two. Um, I, I just think it gets to be a bit much when you're explaining each different level and you're seeing all these windows over and over. It's kind of nice just to chop it um, for those two different levels. So anyway, I guess that's probably a, a, a preference on how you want to do your drawings. But the point is you can do it either way with Condoc. Uh, it's just a little bit more advanced with um, adding multiple section planes to one scene, uh, but keep in mind that you, you just need to put them in different groups. So that's a good question. We should probably do, a, I could probably do a tutorial on that here. I'll, I'll add that to my to-do list, which I actually think it's already on there. So good question though, Vincent. I hope that helped.